Hello, I'm Weasel Bob. Welcome to episode number four of Space Class on Oxygen Not Included. So we're going to continue following the adventure of the guys who have accidentally made their way onto this asteroid. So we still have Joey, Ruben, Dylan, Rowan, and Pippa and Faith, and they all still asleep. And we are ready to welcome the next person who seems to be coming into the world. If you've noticed since episode number three, the guys have had to flee where they were living and start another new colony. And this had nothing to do with the fact that I accidentally deleted all of my saved files. And we've had to start again. So at the end of episode number three, we'd roughly got to this point. I think the research is roughly where we got to as well. Uh, we have enough to get started, so we will now press play, get started, and we will invite. We'll just draw another name, and it is Thomas. So we'll see if we have a Thomas. We do. Uh, there we go, is a Thomas. Good immunity, he's biohazardous. Uh, he doesn't have a very good. Oh, he's going to get sick a lot. Well, I'll uh, just change his name to Thomas. No, that's wrong. Just like it. Right. Uh, let's print Thomas, and here comes Thomas. So, once I awake, he's just going to go straight to sleep. He's going to wake up, he's waking them straight up. So, let's build him a bed. Where's Cot? So, they go. There's no room. Put it down here. Right. At the moment, we're not looking very good. It's very polluted on this level. Uh, we've got to do something about this issue, as you see. Not bothered about this bit down here, they don't spend that long down there, not bothered about this bit yet. Down here looks good. This level here seems to get polluted. I've tried a deodorizer, I've tried algae terrariums. We've got uh, algae deoxidizer producing oxygen. We can now research something else, so we've got to do that. What shall we do now? Um, we're getting more and more people, so I think we need. Tell you what, we're gonna do. We'll make the place look a bit nicer for them first. We'll go interior decor. So let's get that working. Right, we've got some engineering project projects going on. The guys have decided down here. We've got airflow floor, and as this is getting quite polluted, we are going to focus now and put a lot of these all down here in a row. Hopefully that will push all the oxygen up and hopefully then bring the carbon dioxide down here and out the way. So, uh, we need raw metal, we need to go dig in. We've got plenty of that up here, luckily. And we will set that's the next task, I think. We'll go up here, build a ladder up here, go onto the roof of there, and then we will, I think we'll prioritise it. We really need copper, so if I dig out is that number nine? Dig out all that. So, where are they all going? They're all getting stuff. Um, a lot of the area now, all these are set for different things. I think that one is set for medium, raw metal, seeds, soon for so if everything has its own uh, place to go now. We have, yeah, we have enough there, we just built Thomas one, so where is Thomas anyway? Is Thomas settling in okay? Joey's yeah, building a ladder, uh, Dylan's off down there, Rowan's going underground, collecting some stuff up. Same, thanks to Thomas for joining in straight away. And also on this level, when I made this new world seed, we have a steam geezer, and that is producing a lot of water. So, we pretty much have a infinite water supply, and our next engineering project that the guys have decided on doing is we are going to channel this water, made by we're going to build a wall up here. Then dig down here, and we're going to collect all the water down here. This is going to be our water area. 
but we need copper first to produce other projects because we need to sort this out here so I think the construction of the water system will be the next level and then once we've got all the water sorted and got all the water down to the bottom we can build pumps and hopefully where's some uh, plumbing Yes, there we go. I did see them there. Uh, blanked out. Uh, we can get a lavatory and a shower. And then we will create the whole system of stuff together. So they're still collecting all the copper, which is going to be very handy. So then we can start building some of these down here. So we'll go. to get the copper to help ourselves has actually made it a lot worse. Um, guys get out of here, uh, move down here, just come down here out of the way. Instead of struggling to breathe, just run away. Right, now we've done that. Uh, that'll settle itself down, it's not, uh, they're not going to be over there, up there that long because they're only going to go collect stuff. It's quite handy. Carbon skimmer down here as well. And that will get rid of the carbon. But once we've got that, then we will need a wastewater area. So I might prioritise some of this just so it's out of the way, and then we'll get on with other stiffens. For you. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. That for you. No change that. I do need to come build that one so it's from my own. Okay, so. More research, more research. What can we, what shall we research next? What do we think we need? Medical research, I think, because... Oh no, let's get some energy. We'll, we'll get some more power, and then we don't have to rely on the manual generating power. I'm quite happy with the world at the moment. So this issue here with the dirty oxygen, we need to get rid of. This would do more, but it doesn't seem to be getting rid of a lot of it. A lot of it seems to be flowing this way now, which is where we want it to go. This is where we want it. And then eventually I'll dig down here a bit. In fact, shall we set them to do that? And we'll set that as the next task. We'll just get them to dig down here a bit. So we've got a bit of a carbon sink down here. And while we're at it, I might just go a bit further down with it. And dig it under here. And then eventually if we have a if we have the, I think we'll put power generators here, a few more batteries in this area above here, we can set a wall up and build more batteries. Then we'll have a coal burner there to start with before we can change that, upgrade it later. And then the carbon skimming and everything under here, get rid of carbon, and then down here, or even into here now, we could put where the dirty water goes, or we can try and clean the water up. But like I said at the start, because of this steam geezer up here, we shouldn't have any trouble with water. I think we'll be quite confident the more people we get that we'll be okay with water. I'll just dig this area out here and hopefully all this will go under here and keep this clear for when they're producing energy up here. But they all seem to have disappeared. That's all set. 
to pr uh, need to prioritize that. I can't prioritize the dig if they can't get down there. I need to prioritize that wire as well. We're prioritizing all over the place today. Prioritize that. Dylan's on his way down. Thank you, Dylan. He's coming to get on with it. I'll just this. I just got a shout at my dog. Yo, what are you doing? Stop it. Looks like she's trying to dig up the carpet. Uh, we'll just also set a few more left to make because we are we've got four people now, so if they go to bed. And I think that is a good so far. I think now we'll, we'll have plenty of oxygen producing. This should push, all that oxygen should push up, push the carbon dioxide down. Sure, it's how it works on this game. I don't think their world's backwards. And then hopefully it'll come in here and later on in the game we can then dig all that out. But I think they'll struggle to start with with the carbon dioxide that's already down here. It's already flowed down here so that's fine. I'd point it at the screen then, you can't see that. I don't know why I did it. And then in the next episode, because we're going to finish this video here, in the next episode we are going to start the engineering task of the century which is build a channel from under here all the way down a straight line down there and a wall up here without them suffocating, drowning or burning because that's very hot steam. I have a temperature on it. It's a thermal cup up there. It's hot up there. They're going to burn. It's hot everywhere actually. I need to sort this out. Looks like we need to... Oh no, they're keeping body heat. That's alright. They're not losing body heat. Where's the temperature overlay? Yes, overlay is very hot. It's red. We're nice and green. That's red. That's not good. We don't want to be there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and guy, goodbye from all the guys. We'll see who turns up in the next episode. We will continue building, and then we will start our mammoth engineering project in the next episode. So thank you very much, and goodbye.